Hello, friends. All right, I am live. I am having all sorts of troubles tonight because I uh, switched from last week and apparently the program I use does not play nicely with Facebook. And so I don't think this is uh, going to Facebook tonight. Um, so I'm sorry to those who uh, normally watch on Facebook. I hope that we can get it over there later. Um, and I'm trying to get everything like that threw me off. You know how things throw you off and then everything is discombobulated. <laughs> so thank you all for joining me tonight. Hello, Fonda. Welcome. So glad you are here. If you are here and uh, watching live, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know you're watching. And uh, let me know if the sound is okay tonight. I feel all uh, feel out of place. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome all to my friends, too, who are watching the replay. I know that there are plenty of you who watch later. And uh, welcome to you, too. If you watch the replay, give me a comment. Let me know that you watch the replay and let me know what you think, because I love to hear it. So hello, Kimberly. And hello, Yolanda. Ah, oh, the sound is good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. We're going to see if I am uh, lined up here. Because, oops, wrong one. There we go. All right. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm trying to wiggle my camera around. Get us all set up. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to be using the Sentimental Park stamp set. And this stamp set is so cute. It is part of the Regency Park suite. So it includes the Sentimental Park stamp set, the Sentimental Park dies, the Petal Park stamp set, and the Petal Park punch. Now, if you were here last week, Tuesday, we did the February online card class. Was last week February still? <laughs> we did the February online card class with the Petal Park stamp set. So I thought it would be really fun to come back and now use the Sentimental Park stamp set and make some more cards with it. But I thought y'all have seen the Regency Park paper, right? You've seen that all already. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be fun to pair this with a different patterned paper? So tonight I'm gonna to be using the Tea Boutique pattern paper. And this is part of the Tea Boutique suite in the uh, annual catalog. And uh, here's just the patterns. This is the side I really love, just these beautiful patterns. I'm going to be changing up the color scheme from the uh, card I originally did tonight because this is how much I had left of the color I was going to use. <laughs> so that is one side. If you flip it over, it has all these, I don't know, I think they look kind of like weeds. <laughs> they have little plants and teapots and flowers and lemons. I really like this one with the lemons and teapots and flowers and teacups with flowers and teacups and just flowers and teapots and flowers and more flowers. So lots of flowers and teapots. It is a tea boutique suite. I really just like the patterns. <laughs> I don't know, most of these are just a little bit too busy for me. And I just like these really like tone on tone patterns that are in here, they're just beautiful. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these. I haven't cut these out yet. So I'm gonna grab these in the petal pink, all right? I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna put these back in my bin here. And somewhere I had pulled out. Do I have the rest of my paper here? Okay, I do. Okay, now I'll set up. Hello, Angelique, welcome. I'm gonna put my paper back in my little bin. If you guys haven't seen these, I have these little plastic uh, file folders and this is what I put my six by six tape, six by six paper in and then it just goes right up here on my shelf with my stamps so works really well all right now also with this that I did not pull out I have a lot of things not pulled out I want to grab well where are they I want to grab the amazing thanks dies Maybe they're in this giant stack that I have next to me. That could be. You know, I have dyes everywhere. There are dyes everywhere. And I have all this new stuff sitting next to me that I'm getting ready to use. That's new dyes. That's new dyes. These are my rhinos. Here's my sentimental park dyes. Oh, and here's my amazing thanks dyes. 
they were just out. Look at that <laughs> Things are getting in here. Hi, Heather. All right, those are the stylish shapes dies. These are the ones we want. So I'm going to use the Amazing Thanks dies. I've used these before. I really like them. They have um, like a bubble letter and then an inside letter. And it just has amazing you and thanks. So you can do different things with those. I just like the amazing and thanks. And this time I'm just going to use the thanks. Oh, and there's an R too. So it has you are amazing and thanks. I'm going to use the you. And I'm going to cut this out a few times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab some adhesive sheets. I have more of these, don't worry, down to the last bit. I'm just going to grab one of these. I'm going to put this on. So these are two-sided adhesive sheets. They have adhesive on both sides. And this side right here is sticky, the side underneath. So I'm going to just take that and put this on a piece of sweet sorbet cardstock. I'm going to start by doing a little bit of cutting. So now I want this to be on the back though. So I'm going to flip this over and I know it's over here. It's kind of important to keep track of. You could cut it to the right size. I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm just putting it over here and I'm going to cut three of these U's. I should have cut a couple before I started tonight. That was like my MO lately. <laughs> All right, come on. We're just going to tape this down with a little bit of washi, get it to stick where I want it. Tell it to be good and behave itself. And I'm going to roll this through a few times. There's our first U. Pop that out. And pop, pop, pop. All right, there's our first U. I'm going to do this two more. So again, just lining that up on there. And I know that my adhesive sheet is down over here. So I'm just going to put that back in that adhesive sheet area. I'm going to run it through again. Now, before I do this next one, I also know that I want to cut a die from the Sentimental Park dies. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that out too so we can run it through all at once. I'm going to pop out this little U. Now we have two U's. And I'm going to show you the Sentimental Park dies too because they're pretty awesome. They're pretty cool. All right, so I got my U set up on there. And then, let me put this out of the way for just a second. These are the Sentimental Park dies. And what you have in here, you have a whole bunch of flowers. You have all these different little flowers. I've, I've used them on things. Honestly, yeah, they're, they're, very, <laughs> they're very small. So you definitely want to put these on the adhesive sheets because they are very small. And then you have some of the open dies that are going to cut out the stamped images. I'm going to grab this one while I'm sitting here because I know I'm going to want it. And then you have these fun, um, these fun label dies and they have flowers on the sides and are labels in the center. And some of them will um, layer up so you can see like this. And what it does, it actually cuts a little like hole in here and you can slide it underneath. So it's really cool, but I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna use this plain one, keeping things plain tonight. But I think one of my other samples uses the full one. So I wanna cut this out of white. So let me just find a scrap of white over here. Let's go. So we'll set this up on my die cutting machine as well. You know what? I'm going to go ahead. I don't need this whole, we're actually going to cut off part of this. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this, even though it is going to stick out from the side just a little bit. Hello, Peggy from Iowa. All right. So we'll run that through again. Oh, 
then we're going to be about ready to get started with the stamping part, <laughs> fun part. So, all right, so there is that label. And then we have my last little U. So pull that out. Now, the problem was that yesterday I started working with all this new stuff and I have it all still mounted on the blocks. And uh, because I was having trouble with um, getting started tonight, so frustrating, <laughs> um, I'm going to have to unmount some stuff and put some new stuff on. I'm going to start by cutting down these pieces, though, before I get started. So this is going to be um, four and a quarter by five and three eighths. Not four and a quarter, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Cut that down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I want some of this little plaid here. And this is going to be two and three quarters by about mm, one and a half, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's do one and three quarters. I can't figure it out. I can't write it down. Oh, nope, it was one and a half. So we'll switch it up to one and a half. There we go. And then, all right, so we got this, we got this. Let me grab the stamps we need. You guys are gonna see a bunch of extra pieces that I cut out when I open up this case. My case go. It is bad over here tonight, you guys, it is such a mess. All right, so open it this way, try to get all my little bits. Look at all these little bits. <laughs> so let me show you, I can show you what this, uh... there's how those tags kind of fit together. And I didn't punch out all the little bits here, but those would all come out. So they do layer really nicely. Um, and they just like slide in there and hold. So they're very cool. I didn't use it. I don't know why. All right, I'm going to pull out this one that has flowers. And then I want the one that says, you are amazing. This is the only reason I don't like this new system of putting the stamps on the case and not having it written on the back because I found it was a little bit easier to find your stamps, especially those word stamps. And it was written on the back of the plastic and you can hold it up and read it backwards. <laughs> so, all right, so I have that little, you are amazing. I'm gonna grab the right stamps, the right blocks here. So we'll just take that off. Put this, you are amazing on this little block here. And then I'm going to take off one of these leaves. I'm going to put these flowers on here. Oh, I need the inside of the flowers too. Almost forgot those. Almost forgot those. Oh, if you could see it, it's so bad right now. <laughs> so bad. I literally just have this teeny tiny bit here. All right. So I want the insides of the flowers too. So we will take off this little rhino next week. Next week, we're going to be doing the rhinos. Next week, we're going to do rhino ready and tropical leaf together. And I've got some cute cards. I got a couple cute cards already, um, but I know I'm going to make more. I'm going to make more this weekend. All right. So I'm going to start by finding my scrap of white again here. I went on vacation. Right, we're just going to get another scrap of white. <laughs> here we go. Oh, this is the same one. I'll put it over there. <laughs> Don't forget to hit like. All right. Good plan. <laughs> Definitely hit like. All right. So this is the outside of the leaves. I'm going to stamp these in Petal Park. Petal Pink. Not Petal Park. Petal Pink. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, all right. I'm going to ink these up in petal pink and stamp them. And then I'm going to pull out, pull out the sweet sorbet. And I'm going to stamp the outside bit with sweet sorbet, if I can say that. All right, here's the outside bits. 
And I maybe should have done the outside first. I think it would have been easier to line up. So we might have to do it over. We'll see how we do. Not too bad. So there's the outside and the inside of some flowers that are so very pretty. Oh, I still need this. Let me show you these though. So there's those flowers. Aren't those pretty? Oh, so much fun. I love two-step stampin'. I really, really do. It is like what literally brought me to Stampin' Up, I think. Like, I love the color coordination and getting the inks and the papers and all that. But two-step stampin' is amazing. Two-step stamping is just amazing. It's just, I love to be able to make multicolored images without having to color. All right, so what I'm doing, this says, you are amazing, okay? The stamp says, you are amazing, but I am just going to ink the part that says, are amazing. Because remember, we cut out all those U's, so we don't need the U. We're just gonna use the are amazing. So I'm just very carefully inking this. You could pull out a piece of scotch tape and cover up the U before you inked it, but I find that these letters are far enough apart that it's not too hard just to just ink up part of it. Peggy, I don't think a person can have too many flowers. I really don't, especially not in stamps because <laughs> I love them so much. All right, I wanna show you another new product. I know I said I wasn't doing new products tonight, but I am gonna show you one more new product. Let me get all three of them. Here we go. All right, so. These are the new online exclusive basics embossing folder. All right, basics embossing folder. Hello, Jude. So one of them has, and they're 3Ds. So one of them has these big giant raised dots. One of them has like this floral pattern, which we've tried it and it's really pretty, but you have to use it on something really, really basic because it is very intricate. And I think it's a little bit overwhelming. But this one is gorgeous. This is like a cross hatch almost. Um, and that's why I used it with that yellow because I find it's kind of the same. It kind of matches. Anyway, these are the new embossing folders. These are online exclusives. So if this is something that you're interested in, you just have to go to the website and uh, search for them over there. I'm just gonna pop this in the embossing and I'm going to use my blue plate which is the special plate right I'm going to cover that up we'll run this through then we're going to continue. Okay. it didn't want to start very easily you love the crosshatch me too I just think it's so I don't know it is great it is a great just background Subtle, it's 3D, but it still has a certain subtleness to it. So you can just see what that looks like. Very, very cool. All right, so now that I have that, so much die cutting and embossing tonight because we want to cut out those flowers. Remember, I said we have open dies to cut out the flowers. So we're going to cut out the flowers next. 3D embossing folders are the best, they are. I love them. All right, so this die is just going to cut out this sprig of flowers, and I'm going to tape it in place. And hopefully I am not grimacing tonight. <laughs> I have something weird going on with my sinuses and my teeth. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I get this intermittent tooth pain, but it's not like one tooth, it's my entire jaw. And it comes and goes, and I'm pretty sure it is sinus related. So if you see me grimace a little bit, it's probably cause like suddenly pain. <laughs> pain in my face. All right, there we go. All right, let's put this card together. I think those are all the pieces, I think. <laughs> So I have this crosshatch piece that I just did right here, and I'm going to start by gluing on this little piece here. But before I do that, I actually, I'm going to put this tag underneath. So it's going to peek out the bottom, 
but it's going to be have the top covered. So it looks kind of like a banner instead of the tag. So I'm just going to put some liquid adhesive on here, some multi-purpose glue, and then this is going to go on the front. And I'm just kind of putting it towards the right side. So just like that. And then I'm going to take this plaid piece and put it at the top. Now I'm going to show you this pretty much the same card in two different color schemes tonight because first I made it with the Regency Park because I thought I was just going to use the Reg Regency Park paper again. And then I decided, no, I want to use a different paper and switch things up a little bit, right? So I switched to the Tea Boutique and I made it in crushed curry and it's really cute. But then I went to get ready for tonight and I realized I don't have more of the Tea Boutique paper in the crushed curry. So, and this is just peeking out just a little bit. I can't deal with this. Okay, I'm gonna slide this over all the way to the left and then I'm just gonna slice this off. I'm gonna use my little teeny tiny guillotine trimmer. Now we do not sell this. This was a uh, join special from like two years ago, two or three years ago even, and it's beautiful. I don't know why we didn't sell it, but anyway. <laughs> All right, there we go. And now I want to take, I have a little piece, half inch piece that is sweet sorbet. So we're going to tie in that sweet sorbet and I'm going to put this on. Just put a little bit of adhesive on there. And we'll set this right here. Kind of like having ribbon on there, but it's paper. I love doing that. I love just adding a strip of pattern paper that kind of would, you know, do the same effect as ribbon, give you that nice straight line across there. But instead of being ribbon, it's just paper, right? All right. There's that bit. Then we can take this and we're gonna put it on a piece of sweet sorbet. So this piece is two and three quarters by, um, by four inches, I think. Two and three quarters by four inches. And then the sweet sorbet is two and seven eighths by four and an eighth, okay? I love the back of the crotch hatch too. I think you could use any, either side of that, I really do. So I'm going to put this on my sweet sorbet and I think I need to change the blade in my trimmer. Everything is looking a little raggedy here. I don't know if it's showing up in, in the camera, <laughs> but in my face I can see it. So I'm just taking my fingernail and just kind of pushing down all the little straggly ends. Little, little bonus tip for you, what to do when you have straggly ends. <laughs> All right, let's come back to these views. I'm gonna layer up, I cut three of these and I'm just gonna use these to layer up and get it dimensioned. All right, so. It doesn't wanna come out, but that's okay. So there's one, I'm gonna pull this off. So I'm just pulling off that adhesive, the sheet of, the backing of the adhesive sheet, if I can talk, the backing of the adhesive sheet, hopefully. I find that when I put polish on my nails, sometimes it makes them thicker and they don't fit underneath things like they should. All right, so here's the U. We're just gonna put this over top of this U. And these are just gonna all line right up. Go. And I'm going to pull out the third one. And we're going to add this one to you. So I'm just taking using my take your pick tool to push through and pop that out. I love my take your pick tool. I do not know where I would be without my take your pick tool. Because it is useful for so many things. Take that one out too. All right. And then this is going to get layered up. Then we have three U's layered on top of each other. And this just gives it a lot of extra dimension. 
since it's so skinny, it's kind of hard to put dimensionals or something on it. This is just going to give it a really nice, solid look to it. So now I'm going to pull off the back, the backing on the back one. And it took out all those little divot things. And then this is going to go right in here over the are amazing. So there we get that you are amazing. Okay. And what am I going to do with these flowers? These flowers are going to come up here at the top. So let's put the rest of this together though. We have a piece of eight and a half by five and a half inch petal pink cardstock. It's scored at four and a quarter and I'm just folding it on that score line. And then I have another piece of that um, tea boutique paper that I cut at the beginning. So this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And this is just gonna go on the front. So this way we get a teeny, teeny, tiny border around the outside. Just a little one eight border. Slide that into place. That's why I like the multi-purpose glue because you get just a little bit of wiggle room. You can slide things around. And then this is gonna come in here, just down like this. I'm gonna put some Stamp and dimensionals on the back of this because I like dimension on my cards. There you go. Use my take your pick tool, pop these off. All right, and I'm going to put this down towards the bottom right. There we go. And then I want to add my flowers with some dimensionals as well. So I'm just going to put some dimensionals on the back of here. And then these are going to go up here, kind of as a little, I don't know, a little, a little decoration. <laughs> All right, now I want to pull out my, my in color matte dots. These are the 2022-2024 in color matte dots. Are you guys excited? New in colors are coming soon. You guys, I'm going to let you in on a secret. I need more of these red ones. <laughs> let me dig for these. All right. I'll let you in on a little secret. If you so these, the 2022-2024 in colors are fine. Um, but if you really love the 2021, no, 2021-2023 in colors, and there is um, cardstock or paper that you want, get it now. Because they're going to announce the retiring list on March 29th. And when they do that, everything will then only be available while supplies last. And actually, I bet a lot of it is really, like, in actuality, just available while supplies last. If it runs out now, I don't know that they'll they'll get more. Um, but it'll go fast once they announce that retirement list, um, especially with the in colors. Um, they're gonna they're gonna go fast. So if there's in color stuff that you want, I would grab it. The same thing with these embellishments, like these in color embellishments. I don't think they'll be back. I mean, maybe they will. Um, but usually they get different ones of those. So now is, if, is the time to get papers and pattern papers too. All the pattern papers, those will all retire. So if there are pattern papers that you want, like this tea boutique paper, get it now, get it now before it's gone. That's just a little, you know, a little hint. <laughs> Cause that stuff, some of it goes really, really fast and embellishments and I don't know. We'll know more. We'll know more about the color refresh coming and uh, new products coming on March, March 29th. So, and of course, if you want to be in the know, in the know about new stuff coming and what's, um, what is getting retired and you want to be able to order new stuff from the new upcoming catalog first, you might get catalogs first, all that kind of good stuff. You just uh, become a demonstrator, you get a great deal on the starter kit. And then uh, you'll be, you'll have early access to the online catalog starting March 29th. So 
pretty awesome. And I'd love to help you get started with that. All right, here is our finished card. Isn't that fun? And like I said, I have this to show you in two more colors. You guys can tell me which color you love the best. This one is in petal pink. That turned out really cool. I haven't tried these colors before. I don't know. All right, let me show you the crushed curry one. So here it is in crushed curry. So same card, but now instead of the petal pink, you get crushed curry. I don't know. And let me show you the third one. I gotta find it. Now the third one was with the Regency Park paper and it, it has a little bit different dimension. I changed some things. Um, but it is in balmy blue and night of navy. And here I actually used ribbon on it. Can you see that? That's actually ribbon on there. So that one actually has ribbon. These ones use paper. So I don't know, which one do you like best? Petal pink, crushed curry, or night of navy? You like the blue one, Yolanda? All right. I have two more cards to show you though. So those are all kind of the same design. And I got two more because I was having fun. <laughs> so I'll set these aside. All right. We have this one. Let me hold this up. My camera's kind of high up today. So this one is in Fresh Freesia. Still with that key boutique paper. And here I use the bigger flowers and then the stems. And this has the stylus shapes on it. So it just kind of builds up the side. And then this is just the crinkled seam binding that I colored with the Stampin' Blend. So I colored this with a Fresh Breeze Stampin' Blend um, and just kind of made it that way. So Peggy, you like all three. Angelique, you like the pink one. All right. Okay. So here is my last one. This is with um, the Tea Boutique paper again. And these are the same papers I was using. So again, this is Sweet Sorbet and Petal Pink. And uh, this has the things on it. This one I used one of those little flower tags. So you can kind of see that on this side and then the little cutout flowers, they will match that, right? So you can see how it lined right up on there. And then there's more over here, but I covered them with that whole sprig again because I kind of wanted some bigger, bolder stuff. And then I added some more of the die cut flowers as embellishments, so. And that is the thanks. Isn't that cute? So much fun. <laughs> oh, Angelique, you like the Fresh Breezia one? Yeah. Oh, I almost showed that one tonight. I didn't. I think this is going to be a reel on Instagram coming up this week. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you might want to come follow me on Instagram. And I'm going to be putting this together on a reel. So it'll be short. It'll be quick. Um, I'm making that. So. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Um, I'll be back next week, Tuesday. So next week, Tuesday is mystery stamping night. <laughs> and I have some great cards for you. I think you're really going to like it. I'm excited to see what you guys make with this design. Um, that will be next week, Tuesday at 8 p.m. And then next week, Thursday, I am going to use that new product. So the Rhino Ready and the uh, Tropical Leaf stamp set. The Rhino Ready. It's a cute little rhino and the tropical leaf stamp set i'm going to be using those next week thursday at 8 p.m so i hope that you will join me next week for both of those evenings and i hope you have a fabulous weekend filled with all sorts of good stuff and lots of crafting and stamping i'll see y'all next week have a great night